Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a Steals and Deals video from the Nike Factory Store. This one was in Portland uh, off of MLK. And shout out to the good people over there that, that were working there that I was chopping up with. Uh, but basically, uh, this is just one of those videos I show you guys all the random deals that I saw through the store. And if you guys are interested in these type of Steals and Deal prices, uh, these like are basically sort of in line with a lot of the... Uh, clearance items that I post in the description. So there's clearance items to Adidas, Nike, Champ Sports, and Finish Line, uh, and sneakers and stuff. And basically, there's all the new products in some links, and then all of the clearance items in other links. I recommend that you guys go and check those out uh, on a weekly or so basis. That's what honestly what I do. I, I check them daily just to see what new product is out uh, in the new releases, what new product has hit clearance, and uh, just to stay on top of it all for the website. Uh, as well as for you guys. So just a heads up on that. Um, there's tons and tons of randomness um, in the store. Uh, 110 for the soldiers and as you saw previously some of the varying prices for the Air Maxes and the Lunars. Uh, you can see those fuzzy picture right there but here they are. Uh, the Jade um, LeBron 11s for 130 not a bad price at all. Uh, I paid 100 for those from employee store price so 130 is not bad at all. Uh, the leather quality on the tumbled of these are really nice. Surprised um, but uh, $100 on those ones. And these Mellows I haven't seen before. Really wild colors. Uh, but uh, they look really nice, and this is obviously uh, one of the, the older models. Um, the Air Flight Remix, just a random shoe, just showing you guys retail prices, 160 on those, and then they are 99 uh, So nothing too fancy. I know people that's, uh, don't care about that, really. These are the Penny Posit uh, PRM Quick Strikes from All-Star Weekend last year that never released. $90 sitting on shelves, dudes. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. I can't believe I didn't pick those up. Uh, I really should have. I said that every single time. Um, a high five to everybody that just caught... Me saying that and knows that I say that every time. These Diamond Griffs, uh, 360 Diamond Griffs, these are the Oregon, um, or University of Oregon ones, as you can see from the, the O and the Duck Wings. 99 bucks. I'm sure there's uh, not as many Duck fans as there are uh, previous to them uh, losing that bowl game, but it is what it is. Uh, uh, Air Up 2014, $99 is kind of a lot for those. I guarantee the prices will go down. Look at this red colorway. It is $50. I'd rather take the red colorway, even though it's not the OG colorway. But for 50 bucks, it's a great price. These ones are um, $90. It's always, or excuse me, $60 as they're on sale. You, it's always interesting to see that different colors of the same exact shoe are priced so differently. Uh, I love to see that. It's actually something I remember from 10 years ago that I just I loved and it was so fun. 55 on these boots, both nice leather boots uh, from Nike, and some Air Force Highs uh, 07s for 80 bucks here. Uh, you can see that it's just gray with the, the strap. Kind of reminds me of the remaster thing, but they're not. Um, 89 bucks on these shocks, which is not a big uh, knock from the original 90-something dollars on the price tag. Uh, Lunar SCs. I think these things are pretty crazy. They didn't get any love, though, uh, unfortunately. It was just kind of an interesting concept by doing that Lunar uh, with that air bubble the way it was with the 180. Just a bunch of uh, just more randomness, and I don't even know what these were, but the leather looked kind of interesting. It's like ultra weird pebble textured uh, leather. Flight 89s for $75, and then they were on sale for 60 kind of in that grapeish colorway. Kind of reminds you of the Jordan um, like 4 era, if you guys already know. But uh, dunks, look at these dunks, they're 30 bucks. Uh, those ones were were a lot more expensive, as you can see uh, from the suggested retail from the previous one. But eighty dollars on these, I love those shoes. I just I wish um, they would have uh, uh, had like better colorways. They they oversaturated the market with so many colorways that nobody wanted. Uh, Seventy dollars on those, not bad. And then they had a, a couple different um, Air Max um, Jacquard or whatever they are for. Uh, these and sometimes you can find some pretty crazy deals in the Air Maxes and these ones will be on the hash wall I guarantee it and I'll show you guys the hash wall stuff at the very end of this stuff there's a ton of stuff on there air challenges see like this is one of those shoes that you could find in one of the links in the description and they're like 65 bucks even better um, Kobe lifestyles $52 for these guys and then they had the uh, LeBron lifestyles for 60 but I think there were 30 like some of them were like 30 in the last uh, video I did from the factory store, which is pretty badass. Um, another Air Force High, and these ones were uh, 80 bucks. This is a random one. I'm still not a huge fan of the Air Force One. I'd rather take the, a Nike Dunk over an Air Force One pretty much any day. I just, I'm just from that um, that side of the fence. I don't know. Even though Air Force Ones are making a big comeback uh, right now, but uh, but I'm I want them to remaster Nike Dunk. How badass would that be? Uh, anyway, just showing you some up close shots of some of these Air Force Ones. They're about 80 bucks. Uh, not too much, about 20% off uh, of retail. But interesting materials on these ones. I'll show you guys an up close of that. It's kind of like a waxed 
uh, over like kind of like the the Jordan Five Fear Fives actually in a sense they're really nice material. Um, some more interesting uh, looks for the Air Ma or the Air Max the Air Force One as you can see kind of in a uh, an interesting material there and these ones are seventy five for the lows and kind of an interesting netting on this one as well. Um, I don't know. That reminds me of the Jordan 4. That's what I would think that the 4 Lab ones should have looked like with that kind of weird netting, but it is what it is. 70 bucks for these blazers, kind of the vintage look blazers. Uh, the last of the vintage kind of line that I've seen around, um, you know, I got my Air Max uh, 90s with the infrared colorway in that vintage look. Oh, look at these though. Seven, 170. So I'm going to return these. And actually, I know who returned those. The guy that the guy that actually um, brought me the, the, the Adidas... Um, Damian Lillard's and met me up. Uh, he actually returned them to the store, so it's kind of hilarious. He he just didn't want to deal with reselling them and stuff, and he said he he had an extra pair and he just wanted to just get rid of them easier. So he, he ended up getting them uh, sent to the factory store, and I, I ran into to the same pair like later that day. It was awesome. So shout out to Coppers uh, on that one. Um, but yeah, man, I, I tweet or I I tweeted it and posted a picture on on Instagram and people were freaking out and it was just one pair size 10 and I didn't buy them for 170 if I didn't get one pair um, those ones are badass too these Roshis I've never seen before those are so sick though um, and a really fuzzy picture I apologize I try to go fast I'm embarrassed taking pictures in the stores to be honest I don't like to do that but I do it uh, for these videos and so it's kind of embarrassing these ones were awesome and they had my size also and you'll see later the Halloween colorway the glow in the dark souls 109 bucks super steel you ask me, I got those, um, and I'm happy to have them. They're really great quality uh, Air Max with that glow sole. And then they had these there. Can you believe that? But they were, I think they were the – well, maybe they were on sale. You guys will have to go back and see. There was one of them that wasn't on sale. They also had the snakeskin um, comfort dunks, and I think that's what they, they were called. Those ones are really nice quality as well. I was actually pretty impressed because it was the first time I've seen them in person. Um, some Air Max 9 or 95. Air Max 2014s. These these pictures go so fast it's hard to keep up with. And then uh, the Air, Ma uh, Air Jordan 28s, as you can see there, and that kind of a snakeskinish sort of look to them. Uh, just some random Air Max essentials. These one again on Nike.com uh, for clearance for I think 65 bucks or less uh, for that exact one. And then there's the Halloween one right there for 110 my size, but I I didn't need it. Uh, snowboard boots. I think I already sh showed you guys some of those. 120. Uh, for that, that's pretty awesome. I would have bought those if I didn't already spend 220 on the other ones I got from the employee store. These ones are the Christmas LeBrons. I don't know the price. It didn't say on the box, as you can see there, but uh, but cool. It's obviously, somebody returned them. Uh, they couldn't resell them, so they probably ended up just returning them, which is going to be a big win for the factory stores in future future dates. Somebody returned these. They were putting these back on the wall. The data colorway, I apologize for the fuzzy pictures again, but somebody was returning these, um, so you know that basically, again, the... the they probably got bought them to resell. Or they didn't sell, and then uh, they put them back. And those are the the Columbia's. I, I was just like, well, no way. When I was walking through, and actually something else, they ended up having a pair of the what the Kobe's, uh, the Elite Nines. And uh, and apologize for the fuzzy pictures, guys. Um, but they had the what the Kobe's there, dudes. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I w I didn't get a picture of them, but the guy like right in front of me actually ended up grabbing them um, before I could get a picture of them. But uh, but pretty crazy that they had him there. I don't know what the final price was for him. Medicine balls must have been a return as well. Uh, this is one of those ones that were hyped up a little bit. Just an OG return that people were really, really shocked that they were returning. But nobody cared about once they actually hit the shelves. Um, so they probably returned them. But uh, some random Air Maxes again. Kind of looks like that all silver colorway, but it's not reflective. And some Air Trainer uh, SE Highs. Uh, PRM quick strikes looks like the golf ball effect with that cr crazy iridescent look. Those things are pretty rad. Um, and let's see what else they have there. Air raids, fifty-five dollars, man. Uh, Finish line has these online right now. I think for fifty-five bucks as well, dude. The OG colorway. I can't believe they've been selling for so cheap. It's seriously just so sad to see. But this is an another example one that have. Uh, randomly hit the the factory stores the copper colorway and the employee said once he touched them he was basically like shocked because the material was so bad on him that it was just i i don't know it, it made sense of why they actually hit the factory stores because uh they were not as impressive as the pictures and were what were hoped to be those ones were cool i just did a review on those and they actually had a pair of those there uh that was like a women's colorway but here's uh, closing up with some some women's colorways those air maxes look really fresh though i like that colorway uh and then they had a whole bunch of these free um prints and just a bunch of random prints but they look really cool so i took a, a bunch of pictures of all the random ones anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video it's a longer one for me to record 
Uh, but it was super fun running through the store, chatting with people, and uh, and just seeing what they had. So I was, I'm glad I can uh, like hopefully share that experience with you guys, and hopefully you guys uh, like this uh, type of video. If you give it a thumbs up, and again check the 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 description with some of the links to the random stores and have fun shopping around. I have fun on a regular basis looking online for clearance deals. Uh, it's it's always excited seeing prices drop on things that have been waiting uh, to pick up. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed again. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys uh, for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.